Good morning, Mr. Brady. Welcome back to the studio. Hello, uh, Frank. We know you're back uh, from your many whirlwind tours uh, and for visits to different schools, and um, wanted to ask you to um, share um, some things from your one of your recent trips. Uh, well, Frank, I'm just back from uh, the Naples, uh, Sicily, and uh, Rota, Spain trip, and uh, every time I go out, I, it's absolutely terrific. But there's always follow-ups. And so I got back from this trip, and I saw that I got a great email from uh, Angela and Michelle in Bahrain about how I failed to visit their classroom and that they had a um, uh -huh. oh. welcome sign. And I just feel absolutely terrible because I do as much as I can on the trips. Had I known, I would have been there. But Angela and Michelle sent a great email, and so I thought the best way to do it rather than a, a dear, here you go, is an opportunity to chat with you absolutely. And, and answer their questions. Absolutely. So does that make sense? Absolutely. Well, okay. let me start with... Uh, so, hello, Angela, Michelle, and the classmates of uh, U.S. History in Bahrain. Um, well, they write, Angela and Michelle wrote in um, and asked what your major responsibilities are as the head of DODIA. And that's a very good question. We have uh, responsibility for 73,000 children all around the world, in the Pacific and the Europe and, and the United States. Um, we have uh, one, two major priorities, and that's to bring uh, national standards and the implementation of national standards. About 11,500 great teachers and administrators, a uh, total of about 12,000 total employees. Um, but, but the most important responsibility is that we provide the best education possible for our, all, all of our children, and, and I take that very seriously. Now, you um, have uh, visited a number of schools since you've come on board, and uh, their next question is uh, mm. just that. How many schools have you visited? And also, what is the most interesting place that you've visited? Uh, both. Well, one's an easy question, and the second is remarkably intriguing, isn't it? The first is uh, simple math. We have 171 schools around the world. And as of um, Sunday, this past Sunday, I visited 140. So that's like 82%, right? And, uh, and that, I think that's pretty significant in a two-year period. Um, and, and it's not just visiting schools, because then it becomes like a checkmark thing. That's not the intent. The intent is I go to schools, and I meet with uh, the local commanders. I meet with parents. I meet with teachers and administrators. And I also meet with, with students. And it's just us. There's no administrators, no teachers, and, and it's really important for me to get that kind of feedback. Well, why um, is that important? I, I think uh, an unvarnished, um, uh, here's the, the truth as we see it, uh, from, a, from a student point of view, um, is very powerful uh, and allows me to take it back and, and make systemic changes or speak to the administrators on the scene to try and make it better for those students. And the um, second part of the question? Yeah, uh, so the most intriguing place is, well, every place you go is absolutely terrific. And I mean that. But there are some unique things, like um, uh, the Bahrain American School itself is totally fascinating. Um, remarkable student body in that we have uh, U.S. students and we have international students and, and that interface. They have a dorm. Um, it, it's just a different, vibrant uh, education environment. Um, so I particularly enjoyed the differences between Bahrain American School and other um, Dodia high schools of a similar in, in various places. Uh, the second place that I think was truly unique is Guantanamo. Um, we have schools in Guantanamo, two and a half miles um, total area uh, in, in the middle of at the, at the end of Cuba. Mm -hmm. uh, no movement back and forth other than air and, and on uh, the water. It's just uh, remarkably isolated. Um, but the students and the teachers uh, are cared for well and they're doing very, very well. But, uh, but it was just the, the, the uniqueness and the potential isolation. But then you could just ca carry the travel log around the world. You for go sure. to Camp Casey, which is on the edge of the DMZ in, in Korea. Um, in, in Japan, I, I guess the constant is that um, we have schools where the United States has stationed servicemen and women to defend the national interest. And the children that they bring with them, I don't think they get a vote in where they go. So it's pretty important that we provide a proper and, a, and an excellent education for them. 
um, while they're there and their parents are serving such an important mission. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, the next question um, is, what is the best experience that you've had with Dodia? That's a tough one. Yeah, it really is because I think this is the greatest job. Uh, someone once said, if you, if you don't, um, uh, if you love your job, you never work a day in your life. And this truly has been a blessing for the last two years. Um, I, I, I think the best experience, uh, it, as I remember, the most moving experience uh, are, are two. Uh, the first was when I was in Guantanamo, it was on 9-11, mm -hmm. and there was a memorial service held in the chapel there on Guantanamo um, within a mile of where the, the terrorists who, who, who um, allegedly organized that attack, and, and I, I, it was profoundly moving. Uh, uh, the second one was uh, 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 equally profound, is that when we opened a new school at Fort Bragg, um, and it was dedicated to Captain Kimberly Hampton. It's a primary school. Uh, she was a uh, helicopter pilot um, uh, in the 82nd Airborne Division who was, uh, who, who was killed uh, in combat. Uh, and, and we had the, her parents there at the dedication, and it was so emotional to see all of our children who understood fully the sacrifice that, that Captain Hampton made uh, and just gave that love to her parents. And I don't think there was a dry eye in the place. Uh, and I think it was profoundly impacting on our students at the same time for her parents in memory of a great warrior. Absolutely. It's amazing how the kids even know I her know. story. I know. And they could tell me um, everything about her. So it was absolutely, uh, those two, I think, are the best. Okay. Um, the next and the last question the students mm -hmm. asked is about the balance that you have in your schedule between work, family, and peacefulness. You know, that's, a, that, once again, a very, very thoughtful question, and I don't think it's just me. I think everybody has to answer that question properly, uh, whether you're a, a high school student at the uh, American, um, Bahrain American School or the director of Dodia. We all have to find a balance. Um, I... This is a mission. This is a very, very important job. I take it very seriously. We have the lives of 73,000 students in our hands and 12,000 employees. Um, but to do it right, you have to balance it. Uh, and so I'm blessed with five great children, a wonderful wife, and, and now eight grandchildren, um, many of whom attended Dodia schools. Uh, so I, I, I get to visit them. I get to decompress on, on uh, the weekends. Uh, uh, get some solitude and, and being by myself and then recharging and coming back. So it, it's a really del it's a difficult balance. Um, sometimes I'm not too good at it. Um, and, and then I have to take a step back and realize that if you don't take the time and re-energize and, and, and get source of other energies, uh, you're not as effective as doing what you're doing. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sure they'll appreciate that answer. Mm -hmm. um, any, um, any final comments for the history class or the other students? Yeah, I Bahrain just wanted America? to thank you so much, uh, particularly Angela and Michelle, for the questions. Uh, I thought this was a much more personal way to answer some very, very thoughtful questions that they put some work into. Uh, apologize for not being at the class, uh, but on the next visit to Bahrain, um, they, I, will, I promise I will go to uh, whatever uh, classroom uh, students had already prepared. So thank you very much. Good luck.